and welcome to another episode of Crafty Beer Reviews. Today I will be reviewing Founders Harvest Ale. This is a wet hop ale and this is a super duper fresh bottle. This was bottled just a month ago and how do I know that? Well, I'll tell you guys because Founders is nice enough to always put all the needed information on their bottles including a bottling date. So, very cool stuff and I have never tried this out of a bottle. Now, disclaimer, I have tried this previously. It was about two years ago and it was on draft, but I've never gotten to try it out of a bottle before. Every time it hits the Ohio market, it just it sells so quickly that I just can't seem to ever find it. So, 2014 was my year, apparently. They, the, bo the local bottle shop that I actually bought this from didn't even put it out on the shelf. It was behind the counter. I had to ask for it because it just goes so quickly. So, very cool stuff. I am very excited to review it for you guys. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and check out the aroma. Uh, now that is hop heaven. It's hops, hops, hops. I'm definitely getting citrusy notes, grapefruit, a little bit of kind of tangerine, definitely in that orange peel in there. I get a little bit of a slightly grassy type of note. I'm definitely getting a melon type of aroma as well. Kind of getting this slightly piney, slightly resinous type of note as well, a little bit of earthiness. Not getting too much in the way of malt. I get a little bit of biscuit bready malt. It's almost like a sweet bready note. Maybe just a touch of caramel, but barely, barely there. This is really all about the hops. Mainly up front is this big, just citrus bomb, which I love. Touch of tropical fruits. This smells awesome, guys. Let's go ahead and take our first sip. Oh, damn. <laughs> That is good. Right up front, definitely hit with this big, bittersweet grapefruit. Definitely getting the orange peel in there as well. Get a touch of that tangerine. I got a little bit more of that note in the aroma as opposed to the taste, but it's definitely in there as well. I definitely am getting a lot more pine, a lot more of that kind of resinous type of spicy kind of, you know, hop note in there as well. Mm, wow. Definitely slightly dank. I'm getting some of that earthiness in there as well. More tropical fruits, too. I definitely get a slight peach note, maybe a little bit of apricot in there as well. Man, this thing is really good. It's got a lot of complex hop notes, you know. It's not one-noted. And they really all just balance together because, again, up front is more of that citrus, so the grapefruit, the tangerine, the orange peel kind of goes into about, you know, that kind of dank, resinous, piney character mid-palate, and then it goes more of that tropical fruitiness in the back end, but... This is very, very tasty. I also get just a touch of a slightly lemon type note in there as well, which is really interesting. It wasn't something that I was picking up on at first, but it's definitely in there, just more of a subtle note. I get a little bit of that bready malt in there. Again, it's more of the biscuity, kind of slightly sweet note. Definitely getting a touch of caramel, just a little bit of sweetness, but not too much. It does kind of help to make this beer a little bit more balanced overall, though, which I can really appreciate because... You know, some of these types of beer, they can be too bitter, or in some cases, they can be too sweet for my liking. This one has a really nice balance because the bitterness here, it really dries it out on the back end, gets you ready for another sip, but it's not so overly dry that it's cloying. That little bit of sweetness just helps to balance it out, which I really, really enjoy. For being 70 IBUs, it really doesn't quite taste like it, which I think is impressive. It's got a nice medium body, a very crisp, clean type of taste. It is slightly coating, which I really enjoy as well. And even though it's cold here, it's a refreshing beer. Now, given, I wish there was a way that they could bring this beer out earlier, of course, given the type of hops and the release schedule and everything that Founders does, there's really no way for this beer to come out any earlier, but damn, this is tasty. If it was available in the summer, hell, if this was just available easier, I would buy a four-pack of this again and again and again. This is very, very tasty. Just a great hoppy beer. If you guys want a really good example of a wet hop, a fresh hop type of beer, this is one for sure to check out. So, as far as rating, guys, I'm going with a 9.4 out of 10. Phenomenal stuff. You have all the hoppy notes. You've got slightly sweetness just to counteract that bitterness, and it drinks so damn easy. Awesome stuff. Can't even taste or feel the alcohol, so very, very cool. Guys, go check it out. All right, that does it for this beer review. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And remember, I hope whatever you're doing involves good craft beer. See ya.